Now our 410 race here today at Ascot is a very important one because it's the Ascot race course supports autism in racing and this is quite a new initiative and I'm delighted to catch up with Bobby Beavers who's alongside me. Now Bobby we've already been up into the autism sensory room which was absolutely beautiful, really relaxing, very therapeutic. Why is that here today? So what we're doing today Hayley, uh, we've got an autism friendly day. It's the first time that Ascot Racecourse has ever held a autism a friendly day we've got families arriving today who are uh, got family members who are autistic it's predominantly for the children that are coming here today and as you quite rightly said it's very therapeutic mm. it will help with emotions and that is going to be their safe place to to go today so that they'll, they'll go in there um, it's very relaxed as you saw yourself yeah. um, and it's all to do with sounds and, and, and noises and, and the equipment what's in there as, as well so it's, it's obviously that's their safe place but the world's the royster you know we've got mm. air defenders for their children as well if they want to have a walk around the race course watch the racing see the horses in the parade ring beforehand as well but the mobile sensor room is the the safe place for them to go to eighth time we've held an autism friendly day in horse racing we're delighted to be here at Ascot as well it's getting bigger and better all the time and the other little thing I've got is this goodie bag and it's full of all sorts of wonderful things in here and I'm guessing this is quite appropriate for people who are diagnosed with this hidden disability yeah I, I think the best way to describe this we wanted to do something uh, for the families and, and for the children as well so we've got the sunflower lanyard in there also which which I proudly wear and it's great that the RCA and hidden disabilities have teamed up to promote uh, hidden disabilities as well we've also got there to say the ear defenders are there so they can put the ear defenders on got squidgy horse as well we've got all sorts it's just exactly. really, there's the ear defenders yeah. so obviously with those is for the children and and the families to walk round, they'll be able to, as I say, watch the racing, come to the parade ring, etc. And obviously the ear defenders are there uh, just in case it gets a little bit too uh, noisy for them. So what we're doing is we're making sure that, that everything is in place, make it autism friendly uh, and make sure the families come racing in a safe and supportive environment who may have not been able to come racing before in the past. Why is it important that racing's doing something for autism? I think it's very important because, like, obviously, as you know, I've been on my own personal journey. Uh, I got diagnosed with autism myself last year. My daughter uh, was diagnosed with autism as well, Sophia Beavers, and it was Sophia who inspired autism in racing. She's inspired the, the whole project, really. And I think one thing I can speak about is that we need options. You, you know, we need to be treated fairly. You know, we're, we're human beings at the end of the day. We can't help being autistic. It's the, it's the cards we've been dealt, you know, and, and that, that's the bottom line, really. It's the cards we've been dealt. So what I wanted to do uh, with the support of my family and the support of racing as well is offer these autism friendly days it's important and if you look at what we're doing as well a mobile sense room a safe place let, let them have somewhere that can go where they can feel safe and, and get that support as well it's just changes we have to make and when you think about it it's it's nothing too big it's nothing too major at, at the same time it's just changes you have to make but it's not a bad thing it's a good thing and we talk about you know we're inclusive sport we're welcome to all and that is why I will I will make sure that autism does get a voice in this sport oh, well Bobby you speak about it so well and it's an amazing opportunity that you've created really within our sport to get the message out there what else would you like to do going forward what about the future for, for autism and racing and the last year you must have been thrilled with how much momentum you've got behind it absolutely unbelievable the support from inside and outside of the sport has, has been absolutely fantastic everybody's got behind the project which has been brilliant phase one I've said it numerous times was absolutely uh, phenomenal we evaluated the whole of the phase uh, for the first year and the statistics spoke for themselves 66 percent of people never been racing before and, and a whopping 94 percent said they would return if autism in racing was in place this year more race courses are coming on board we've got more big days coming more autism friendly days and i'll say this briefly we have got the support program which will be launching the next few months which i'm very excited about and that hopefully will encourage employment so if you are autistic you 
watch this now, you want a career in racing, I will make sure that the right support yeah. is in place for you. So if you want to be the next Frankie Dettori, you want to be the next Rachel Blackmore, you want to work in marketing at Ascot Racecourse, whatever that may be, that support programme will be in place and it will help people who are autistic uh, to, to come into the sport and, and know that they're going to be looked after as well. Well, Bobby, that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you for your time and thank you for everything you've done. It really is brilliant. Well done to you and everyone behind it. So Autism in Racing, quite a new initiative that's going great guns and it's lovely to see Ascot Racecourse supporting it here today as well.